the mortuary temple of Hatshepsut. Its temple built during the reign of Pharaoh Hatshepsut of the 18th dynasty of Egypt, located opposite the city of Luxor. It is considered to be a masterpiece of ancient architecture. Here are some stories about Hatshepsut. Uh, now we are in Hatshepsut temple. Hatshepsut, she is the daughter of Tutmosis I and married from her brother Tutmosis II because they had royal blood. She had two daughters from Tutmosis II, no son. Tutmosis II decided to marry another woman because he wanted the son to rule Egypt after him. So he had Tutmosis III. Hatshepsut she became for Tutmosis III, stepmother and aunt. And when her husband Tutmosis II he died, Hatshepsut sharing Tutmosis III two years to rule the Egypt because he still be young. And then she sent him, <coughs> he married from her daughter. Also she became for him mother-in-law, stepmother, aunt, mother-in-law, complicated. And then she sent him to another place because she won't rule the Egypt only. And when she told for people she will be ruled Egypt, the people didn't accept to rule the Egypt because they believed when the woman ruled Egypt, she ruled Egypt by heart, not by mind. So they didn't accept. So Hatshepsut, she make a fabricated story. She told Amun Ra, he married from her mother, and they had a divine birth Hatshepsut. Because Hatshepsut, son or daughter from the God, must be ruled Egypt. She ruled Egypt about 20 years. All the 20 years, she appears as a king. She make false beard and she wearing royal skirt. And she built her tomb in Valley of King, not in Valley of Queen. She's a very smart woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And her temple is built by Sinmut. Sinmut is architect and teacher of her daughters. And he loved her very much. So he decided to build for her different design temple. Her temple covered in mountain with three floors. First floor is destroyed. It have a hunting scenes and the Hatshepsut carried two blisks from Aswan to here. You saw it yesterday in Karnak temples. And also she make expedition to Bond. To Bond to Somalia is now. She import and export some goods. She sent from here to Somalia and asked bigger wooden box. She had from Somalia three kind of tree for essence and henna tattoo. Her voyage start from the Red Sea. You see that here? Right, because yes, this is a powerful. From all time, mm -hmm. the people. People is uh, uneducated and, uh, yes. and brave. Yes. So she 20 years ruled this as a woman, but she proved that she is a Proved means she show her face and beard and everything. Look like a, he's a man. Yes. <laughs> All right. Its three massive terraces rise above the desert floor and into the cliff of Tir El Bahari. Her tomb KB20 lies inside the same massive cave by El Karn a pyramid for her mortuary complex. At the edge of the desert, one kilometer east, connected to the complex by a causeway, lies the accompanying valley temple. This hot hot, full cow, had mm -hmm. to drive from the cow and got the bomb in front of the cow. So beautiful color art, which was uh, about 3500 years back. Across the river Nile, the whole structure points towards the monumental eighth pylon. She crossed the arms like Osiris, God of Death, oh. with the false beard. Hatshepsut's most recognizable addition to the Temple of Karnak, and the site from which the processions of the beautiful festival of the valley departed.
The temple's twin functions are identified by its axis. Its main east-west axis served to receive the bark of Amin Ra at the climax of the festival, while its north-south axis represented the life cycle of the pharaoh from coronation to rebirth. This one is Amun Shrine, situated at the back of the temple on its main axis, is the climate point of the temple, the sanctuary of Amun, to whom Hatshepsut had decided the temple as a garden for my father Amun. Inside the first chamber was a chapel which hosted the bark of Amun and a skylight that allowed light to flood onto the statue of Amun. Constructions of the terraced temple took place between Hatshepsut's 7th and 20th regnal year, during which building plans were repeatedly modified. In its design, was heavily influenced by the temple of Mentuhotep II of the 11th dynasty built six centuries earlier. In the arrangement of its chamber and sanctuaries, though the temple is wholly unique, The state of the temple has suffered over time, two decades after Hatshepsut's death, under the direction of Tutmose III, reference to her rule or erased. The campaign was intense but brief, quelled after two years when Amenhotep II was enthroned. The reason behind the prescription remains a mystery. A personal grudge appears unlikely as Tutmosi III had waited 20 years to act. Perhaps the concepts of a female king was anathema to ancient Egyptian society or a dynastic dispute between the Ahmozid and Tutmosid lineage needed resolving. In the Amarna period, the temple was incurred upon again when Akhenaten ordered the image of Egyptian gods, particularly those of Amon, to be erased. These damages are repaired subsequently under Tutankhamun, Horinhab, and Ramoses II. Thank you for watching.